Well, Envy, maybe giving up a little bit of the farm to Ohio to help him early is that uh, Abaddon and then Excalibur. All right, Excalibur. Druid. Again, you got some work to be done, my friend. Uh, the, these shoulders look pretty broad, though. I mean, Animage's shoulders, eh. They're not that broad. So look at Lone Druid, though. A bear. He's got like two his sets of shoulders. Even more broad. Yes. Not to mention his uh, bear companion. Yes. And I'm not even really talking. No. About. So much more uh, to to help him carry. It's good. He's got some stuff on his back. Or I think that's just his outfit, actually, which looks like a backpack or something. I don't know what it is. But you're right. His shoulders are certainly more broad than the AMs were or are. Am kind of slinks when he walked around, and he oh, he's kind of making the same there. hand motions AM does, though, where he like kind of. And moves his hands around. Man, that guy's humongous yeah, hands. They're like bigger than he his head. Do you hands. see that? He has those dwarf <laughs> hands from like, uh, any, I don't know, any dwarf uh, Warcraft 3 or. Look, look at who they are in the. Ah! Just like. He's ready to. Clenching them in the somebody's air. He's about to catch those hands. Yeah, I can tell, tell you. All right. All right, Mr. Nova Scotian, what do we got going on here? We have a couple of TPs coming in early on, trying to get some early wardage DJ. Attempting to get some vision on the high ground. That was something that I, I think was this series. Fnatic had trouble getting wards out early on into the game. Yeah, they last last match they did not have any. So and and that's perhaps an issue as to why Mineski were able to set up the lanes the way they wanted. Perhaps why they they were able to do so well in the laning phase to begin with. So and, and again, Fnatic they send DJ up there. He has a ward. He thinks about putting it here or something along those lines. He sees one hero and backs up immediately, deciding not to put it down. Ohio. <laughs> did he? Did he see that? They, uh, they looked know. like they just passed right by each other without seeing each other. Uh, Ohio might not have any idea this was put here. In fact, he's pinging over here. I think last I just saw. So that ward might not get countered, which is interesting. Well, that would be incredible. I'm just admiring Envy's uh, items right now, where uh, he's not expecting to have a very fun time. Four tangos. Oh my God. Three shared tangos. Has a poor man's shield. Probably aware that courier is a little suspicious. Like, uh, hmm, why I is there a courier why this here? Courier's here? Is there a monkey king out of your team? Answer, yes. Dude, he just gave this up to Jabs. He just gave it up. <laughs> They're like, that is a bit weird. Mineski are already in their heads. Dude, look at all these heroes. <laughs> we gotta we gotta do the lane there's switches a, there's here. There's a fiesta at this point. <laughs> Perhaps the ward battle is even more dominant than I once thought for Mineski. I mean, they have two wards. Fnatic have zero. I mean, they're still rotating their lanes around. Jabs is already mid. He's looking to go on Excalibur. They have Moon or Nana here on the Monkey King ready to go. Jabs is gonna walk up. Guess what? He's an ogre. He has a tunnel regen. He's got Ignite. Excalibur will try to do some damage to him, but... I think Jap should be fine. Eight armor. He has double the armor of those two heroes put together. That's pretty unbelievable <laughs> when you think about it. Right, you have to re you have to like think about it and remember back to what made Ogre such a bad hero that these changes need to be made needed to be made. Like, no. it was more just sort of an sort of an incremental thing. It wasn't actually like that. He was so bad or anything like that. But it's fun to think of it that way. Well, he's fun to play now. He sure is. If you want this. to play a pub game, just play an ogre and run at people. It's great. Well, I think uh, this is looking like a nice setup once again here for Mineski. Mushi up against the Abaddon. Who cares? It's an Abaddon. Monkey King would be having the roughest out of the uh, the three lanes. Oh yeah, he's gonna get constantly spell cast. Uh, he can't build up stacks on the bear. This, so. this is actually a pretty good lane, all things considered, for Excalibur. So, so was the anti-mage lane, though, to a certain extent. But uh, it, it feels like the same. Ohio is a little bit more survivable this time around. You know, but it's still not fun. Still have a Tibber Saw and uh, an Ogre chasing you down. He's got help from DJ at the get-go. So this time they're giving Envy the, the free lane for now. The solo lane, I should say. So there's some differences between Game 1 and Game 2. But... And the good news is that at least Fnatic are doing well in the mid lane. Something you've yeah. touched on, uh, and they're absolutely doing well there. Last game, it felt like the pressure from the list didn't even do anything. Whereas this time, it's a, a lot more impactful. And it kind of helps that there's an additional, like, essentially hero here this early in the game with the Lone Druid Bear being there. Yep. And Excalibur currently has the Midas queued up. Be interesting to see if he does go for that build with the Midas into the Radiance and just kind of balls together. Or if he'll be more in towards, like, the Mask of Madness style that we've been seeing, but... 
with another kind of fast-paced lineup from the Simoneski, it looks like they're just going to try and ride it out once again and move in towards those uh, radiances. I mean, we'll see. Nice Obviously block onto Envy up top. It's He's stuck fight. in from the ward. Fight shield. He's got a TP. He will stick up, and he actually might be fine. Yep. They had already used Glimpse, and they didn't have any mana to begin with. On Ninja Boogie. So he'll, he'll be able to get out. Waste a little bit of time, but that's fine. Okay. I think it's going better. Ohio's getting some good CS2. Yeah, Nana is getting tripled up mid, though. And this is a hero that really needs to find some kills soon, then. Uh, once he starts getting the levels put in. But there will be possibilities in terms of rotations. Maybe onto someone like Pac, who's not too survivable uh, in the early game. You know, one aggressive orb and you're just dead before you can get to those higher levels of the phase shift. Or you have items like Blink and Yules. Ice Ice has surpassed the, uh, the danger zone. He is level 3. He's got 10 stacks of reactive armor. Probably not going to die in this lane. Yeah, uh, unless there's some major rotations. Even with that, I think he should be fine. Barring some sort of disaster. Unless he's pretty far up. He's already dishing out the damage to Ohio in quite a large amount. Jabs is nearby. He's dropped a ward down. That might have been spotted. And we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled on Excalibur. Obviously, we know how well he's doing. But Envy is, I think, one of the more important targets to focus on this game. Yeah, I haven't even talked about They're him yet. Nine CS feel. for him as well. Do they have the glimpse? They sure do. They'll probably use it here in a moment. And uh, with him getting brought back, this is going to be tough. He does have stick charges along with another aphotic shield. He's going to use the aphotic. Still has the stick charges ready. He's really holding on and they will go for it. Meanwhile, Nana gets the first blood on Pile I Die. They'll trade. DJ comes in, throws out the mana bird. Envy is low. The aphotic shield looking for Ninja Boogie. The Impale will come out. They're going to get two kills here. Envy successfully baits into a two-kill top lane engagement. Yes, they will lose Pilot Die mid. Yes, they will lose first blood. Still a pretty good fight overall for Fnatic. Yeah, that's a... Uh, felt pretty greedy to go for that without Gale. Because uh, he's gone 0-2-2. So you have the jacked up wards, and that's partly why it's been helping to like block him out and stuff like that. And obviously, you can do a little bit more damage over time harassing. But without that extra control... The gank's pretty difficult. It takes a very long time on a hero like a bad, and, and he hit that stick. He is so. staying here for forever. In the meantime, Excalibur will find Nana again. Envy should be able to get it. They've got the shrine. That's what they're trying to get to. Jab's just trying to prolong this from happening, but it's too little too late. He'll have to. Yeah, the shrine will cut through. So, again, another kill for Excalibur mid. He's already up to 1,100 gold with his gloves yeah. already on his spear pair. So Looks like he probably nice. got a root. I'm guessing. I would have. Hit five, just rooted and got the kill on the monkey. He's now level four and a half. And uh, in terms of heroes, much like the Abaddon, Monkey King doesn't really have that great of places to go and farm if he's a rough start. Kind of likes to join up with certain people and roam around the map. Oh, so he's going to be relying on Timbersaw's success to probably help him out a little bit. Wow. Mijibugi could have gotten really shredded there, but he seems to be okay with just the bear hitting him. DJ will walk through. He doesn't see anybody. He little does he know Nana's on the high ground. Ping will come out. They're going to jump on with a tree dance. TP's coming through with Mushi. They're going to rotate this lane, it looks like, or at least try to bring the bear down. Maybe <laughs> the get bear, a kill. Quelling bear. Excalibur in some the trouble town. now. And there's a boundless strike to come through. They deny from Excalibur onto the bear. He might die, but at least he doesn't give away the gold from his bear. The glimpse back will be there. He should fall. Good Savage Roar, but it's too little too late as Mushi gets the last hit. Now looking for the tree dance onto Pilot Die. He's also in trouble. There's no shrine. He'll go for the Frost Blast. They need a couple more auto attacks. Maybe they don't find this. Tree dance isn't available. All that he could do is look and see Pilot Die getting underneath that top tier one tower. But again, they at the very least switch lanes. They get the kill on Excalibur in the process. Pretty good there for Naski. Yeah. Worthy rotation. Uh, although you are giving a little bit in terms of like pressure across the map obviously it's helping envy quite a bit this is now going him to 30 last hits all of a sudden after being way down low uh thanks to veno just leaving the lane like that so it's gonna help him massively i wonder what his itemization will be We've he'll seen, still go for like the hood first again yeah we saw in the successful game phase hood into medallion radiance i wonder if he'll try and like just get a midas or a mask of madness or something first it might not be a bad idea seems though. like an envy play yeah but we'll see Speaking of Midas, Talbot is about to have his. That's a uh, that fight mid was pretty, pretty funny where he had a, he had the quelling blade on the bear and he just sent it forward and cut down the tree the monk king was on. Oh yeah, I did not see that. I, I, have, I have not seen that one for a while. It didn't have an impact, honestly. It's a classic. It's pretty meme. funny. 
You want a medallion? All right, he'll way. grab the medallion first. Yeah. Fair enough. That's good. And we wanted, he wants to get started early to so help out as best as he can. They'll give DJ some level stop in the meantime after they've rotated Nana up to this top lane. So, and Also nearby is Pilot Eye just to help out DJ to get some extra levels. They'll TP in the Abaddon. And, uh, uh, well, the Plague Ward army is building up for Mushi Mid. He has realized that uh, this is his home now. He yeah. needs to make the best of it. Uh, those waves and that bear is not going anywhere. And that means I'm soon anyway. Bottom lane, though, he's not giving that assistance down there in terms of, like, the pressure onto that tower, so... Ohio's just dancing around. He did just he's use his orb to farm, though, so... trying to juke so badly, and there's just that. He just cancels the clarity. And Ohio is, like, manning up. He's going to throw it in a loser orb, and... Ice 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 will continue to chase. He has Arcanes and a Mango. Uh-oh, Jabs is in. Ohio is in he's some trouble now. Fire Blast, Timber Chain, and the Dream Quill will try to save his life, but it doesn't do much, and uh, he will go down. So, good little rotation from Jabs. Yeah, he had a haste rune. Pretty nice. Yep. And nice and easy. Toppling, though, Nana's just kind of there again. I guess he'll find some last hits. He's gotten himself another half level. He's going to try and catch up. He needs a little bit of uh, me time up here. Yeah. But uh, Lich in a bed and not looking to uh, make that easy for him. And back down bottom, Puck will return. Yeah. Ohio's back. Jabs is uh, coming back in again. DJ's rotating over to provide some help, to provide some assistance. So this is Dire are, are worried about a smoke gank right now. They uh, they just scanned right here. I think that's uh, the play that the rating support they're making. Yeah, interesting. Well, they would be wrong. They're more worried about Ohio Bottom. Although he is getting chased again. I say it says continues to be an issue, much like he was last game. There's a good waiting rift. He might be able to get out. Fire Blast has come through. Can he jaunt? Oh, yes. Oh, man, that was close. They're going to turn this maybe into a fight, but DJ revealed himself on top of the board as they came out of smoke. And so they just the immediate back call comes in from Maneski. They just peace out. And whatever setup they had ready with Pilot Eye and DJ did not turn out. Now Ohio, he's got the Dream Call at the ready. Can they go on Ice Ice Ice? The Soul Rings did come through. There it is. And Pale to Pop. There's the Frost Blast. Chain Frost. They'll get the kill. They blow away Ice 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 rather quickly. Yeah. And it's a big kill. They needed that. I think he was not expecting the Lich, I guess. Yeah. Because uh, that extra little bit of damage is a bit too much. I Like, they have a ward here. Uh, so, after the smoke popped, he saw the Nyx walking up here. Knew he was there. Yes. Just not respecting the uh, pre-6 Nyx, and then obviously probably not expecting the uh, Lich to be there is the big factor. Oh, the Gale. Quite a bit of quick magic burst. TP the bear. Um, oh, no, the glyphs. Oh, wait, I thought. No, all right, maybe not. Maybe save somebody else. He's gonna. He's busy sentrying and bringing down an Observer Ward. But in the meantime, bottom again. Ice Ice Lich should be fine. There's only two heroes here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, though, how it worked out. DJ was smoked up. He breaks the smoke. Pilot Eye doesn't, even though he's right behind him. They feel now, safer. He is level six. Dream Quill back in 13 seconds. Can they go for this? I guess this is playing a little bit further back now. I think he probably knows DJ is six. And they have. He also sees the Lich in. like this, though. Ninja Boogie smoked up. Level five. Almost level six. Here's the kinetic field. Fire Blast will come in. Pilot Eye is going to get jumped on. He's in trouble. He will get dropped. And there is no fall from Ohio. And DJ is still sitting in his vendetta. Glimpse back will come in. There's the waiting room along with that Dream Quill to come through, but they have a huge ultimate that comes out for the Disruptor. The Impale comes too late. DJ got silenced up. He couldn't get off that ability beforehand, and all three will fall bottom lane. And this time, it's Maneski taking the fight to Fnatic. Oh, what a time to hit level six on the Disruptor. Yep. Coming on in there for that fight. A very nice rotation as they were trying to set up their own play onto Ice Ice Ice. And now it's Envy who has come down bottom and deal with this mess that is the Timber Saw. And that'll pick up his cloak for himself too, so all that magic harass is going to be even less useful. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Mushi putting that pressure in. Game definitely way more even than last time, of course. Uh, yeah. I think at this point we were into the uh, there was a tier three being couple taken. thousand gold lead. Like two minutes from now, <laughs> yeah. there will be a tier three taken in game one, yeah. is how I would describe it. That's not happening this game. And Fnatic, again, they're actually... AM was doing pretty well last game, but Excalibur is to a much faster start, and a lot of that was because of the Monkey King matchup. But that has got to deal with the Venom. It's a bit harder. Um, but they still don't have much farm on the Monkey King. He did get some room to work with. Tread. They wrote, he Smoke King. On a couple of heroes, but 
He will go ahead and use the Tree Dance. DJ is still here. Do they have a Sentry? It doesn't look like it. They don't have one to place and see if there is a Nyx. And now they're going to find Ninja Boogie. Gets jumped on Vendetta. through. No follow-up, though. Envy decides not to go as Ice 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 is the bodyguard. Glimpse back. They'll find DJ. The Kinetic Shield to come. Here's the Tree Dance on top of it. And he gets blown up. Chain Frost will bounce to some creeps. Back over to Ice Ice Ice. And that is it. And Envy will continue on trying to farm up and get last hits. Now they're going to Timber Chain back in. The Chakra coming through. Pilot out in trouble. Here comes the Wukong's command. Lagging the game. There's the balance strike. And he's going to get blown away as well. A double kill for this Ice 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 Timber Saw. And uh, more, more good stuff coming in from Ineski here again. Yep, this is going to help protect them against any other rotations that want to come through. They even scan just to make sure that he's not still hiding back there on the bed. And Tower will go down. Good plays by Moon, Mr. Nana. I mean, you can see how difficult it is to track that Monkey King. Cause it's, I don't know, it kind of looked like they, like the creeps are nearby. And you think like, oh, didn't they just see him jump to that tree? Or didn't they see him jump to that tree? But it is nighttime. It's difficult to see for the uh, for Fnatic. It, it kind of kills you to see how many times they could just like cut the tree he was next to, but you can't spot him. Looks oh like uh, he is dead. Dude, he got route. a root, and then like I think they savage roared him, and they still can kill. He's picked up, and there's in Nova, and. That doesn't feel great, but it's just going to TP the bear home anyway. But yeah, you're right. He's dead. Static Storm. So is DJ. No. Uh, yeah. Thunder Strike does his job. Bottom lane. Envy might be in trouble. Nah, he's got Barrow Time. He's fine. Yeah. It's all right. But Nyx died by the Rosh Pit, eh? <laughs> yeah, he got uh, Thunderstruck. He, he almost got Glooms back into the Static Storm, but he was pretty low to begin with. Gotcha. Hooded Defiance now fully finished here on Timbersaw. And then Arcane Rune found here. That is dangerous. The same type of thing as I said going last game. All right. Slow things down a little bit. The good news for Fnatic is you've very farmed Lone Druid. MV's doing pretty well. Be Pop interesting be to better, see what he but... builds. Probably just straight pipe, I guess, for Envy. Can't really go for a Radiant with this lone druid on your team. Veil comes out. That'll be under the timber saw. Still very tanky. They didn't have any follow-up damage there. Nobody else rotating in. So the timber will back up. All right. Scalber gets to work on an ancient stack as well. So it, it feels much better. We talked about this last game, but like there was like this sort of timing window where Fnatic were getting pushed in and they kind of had to say, okay, well, do we rely on our anti mage? Do we rely on our fighting? They... Kind of got split down the middle. Yep. They they have more options this game, it looks like. And they're not getting pushed in. Yes, you have to deal with a, a farm timber saw, but right now, that's, I think, in your power to do with, with Excalibur and how farmed he is. Yeah, I think uh, this game, a lot of it's going to come down to DJ's scouting abilities. Uh, everyone's been talking about the success of Secret, and if you watch their games, it's pretty much what most of it does come down to, is Yapsword just like running around the map, scouting things out with the help of Poppy 2. They have a uh, Nyx Assassins, the Bounty Hunters, like every single game. So Ohio does get stunned up, silenced, and easily killed. But those are the kind of things that you need to be scouting for. Like, they didn't know where they were. So Ohio just goes down. They need to get that deeper vision to try they and figure out what's happening. They are making a move on Mushi. Good bound to strike Wukong's man. Here comes the Chain Frost Poison Nova. This is problematic for Fnatic right now. Now they can't get the TP off for Excalibur. The stun comes through. Mushi's is still barely alive. And it looks like he's going to survive as well with like 20 HP. That is unbelievable. Now Envy has to pop the borrowed time. He is on the run. DJ also vendetted in haste up. They're still looking for Excalibur. They'll finally find the kill. As Ice 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 comes in, Envy now out of abilities. He has the hood. It won't save him. It's going to be, looks like, everybody dead. Double kill for Ice Ice. Three heroes will fall. Even the Nick's getting very low, but he'll survive. DJ's there. So is Pile I Die, but... Disaster. Uh, yeah. Fighting there without your hero on your team that's possibly one of the best heroes in the entire game. But fighting an area like that, the Puck, him being down. But you feel forced to dive because there's so many heroes top and the rotations come through so quick that... Doesn't even matter where they were. That, that's brutal. Monkey Not only King do you lose out. Puck, but then that. They just had so much damage. And then really what it was, too, was maybe they get out, they get Excalibur out of there as he TPs away on the Lone Druid, but he gets stunned up as soon as Jabs gets in. So he doesn't make it out. That's a big problem, and you're giving away these kills to the Tempersaw, who's already way on his way to the Bloodstone, getting closer and closer. So it's a bad fight for, for Fnatic, but... Still some room to work with here. Ohio's still top. He died here just a couple minutes ago. 
So, he looks a bit safer here now. Oh, nope. Dream Cloak coming in. They're going to look to turn on Denana here. Waiting Rift comes out. They need to sell some more damage. Frost Blast. Blue Syrup coming in. Drum Charge will get propped. He goes for the Jingu Master. Cannot get, get enough healing. And uh, he'll get the down. So, fortunate for Monkey King. Yeah, and DJ's still coming through. Not sure if he was spotted by the sentry before Monkey King died. Looks like he might have been. Oh, no. Jab's still standing pretty far out. Yeah. Could just be stunned up into his death here in a moment. And this tower could fall right after, too, if they can find it. But he's sitting pretty close to this tower now. That will come in. I think they're going to go for a push here. Mm. DJ wants that. Just a body. little chill push. They're a bit too worried about the rotations. And now. Oh, okay. Timber nice. comes in. Are they really going to be able to hold this? It looks like it. They're very I timid here without that dream... May also, Vendetta's off cool, or rather on cooldown for another 10 seconds or so, but yeah. It looks like they're actually pushing in. Timber saw is coming through. Bell's gonna get dropped in pale. We'll miss. Lucio will come in. He had already popped the hood. Now that's down. There is a, the Radiance finished on the bear, so probably they just may waiting for that. Maybe clips uh, he's coming, but yeah, it's gonna be too far. They see the now. The Reboost on the Radiant here with that Radiance. Seven Monkey door. King is not here. So for a chain up to the high ground, that's a dream quill on it too. Vale's gonna come out as well. Oh, they use the poison of a chain frost bounce. They'll get off a nice static storm. They'll TP out immediately and Bushi might fall. The bear doing some work, the radiance spurting the audio attacks. It is more than enough to get two kills there. Great initiation coming in from Ohio. They needed that. In the meantime, Nana was trying to push bottom and he TPs in to try to help out. And he's able to successfully defend the tower. But it is two quick kills turned over to Fnatic there. Finally finding the right initiation. I'm feeling much stronger in that fight with the help of the Radiance. And they can even shrine up and probably go for the finish push to the top lane. It is very weak. Timber's still around, but there won't be much you can do if they actually want to commit to it. Mid lane Ohio gets a bit of a love tap from Nan as he rolls by. Alright. He's getting there in terms of farm. Blink Dagger's getting close. What other items are about to come out here? I think Envy bought Blade Mail. Yes, yeah, he, he did. He had it in his quick buy. I noticed that too. Yeah, that's a good choice, but fully completed up. Best, uh, I guess, against the Venomancer, honestly. Uh, yeah. Timber saw as well, but he's got a lot of HP to chunk through, especially once he has the uh, Bloodstone, which is coming soon. They do get the kill, no deny on the tower there. Nice. He built the last game. He did pretty well for how much they were getting stomped at the end of the game. Did some damage. DJ walking under the guise of a sentry. Here comes Wukong's command. Timber chain coming out. They're looking for the Timber saw. Great bound. The strike at it too. They'll lose one instantly. And Envy might be next. He does it the borrowed time elsewhere. They were looking for a Dream Quill. I think they might have missed it. And it's someone just immediately oh, snapped it, yeah. it and Ohio couldn't fight it. Comes back now coming in. They have found Excalibur. He is the primo target now and he's getting chopped down as Ice 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 is coming in. This, this bear is not doing enough now. The boundless strike comes in again. Another timber chain and Ice 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 finds yet another kill. Bar time is gone and he'll find himself a monster kill streak along with a double kill that goes along with it. Can he get the triple as Pilot Eye is running away? The tree dance not there in time. Timber Chain is and it will be the triple kill. And Ice 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 is godlike and just having one of those games yet again on this timber saw, much like game number one. Geez, that added up fast. 10, 1, and 3. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 15 bloodstone charges. Okay. He uh, managed to pick that up before that last uh, part of the engagement. I noticed yeah. he was just working on up top, and now he's almost into a pipe. He just got this bloodstone, like, the last fight. So. Yeah, he's moving pretty quick through his item progression. Ohio will finally get a blank dagger. I think DJ's working on his as well. And there was another item that came out on the Dire team. Oh, his Jab's getting a mech, a level 12, and he's Go an ogre, and he's got a mech already, an arcane, so. Pretty good game for this ogre. Ninja Boogie will have to be the... Obviously poor support, but he's done a great job with just glimpses and statics from and all that good stuff. That leaves bottom. Bottom in trouble. I don't think they really want to fight any for Saul, especially when they don't know where anybody else is. Not a great idea. No, but uh, still, it is only a 1k gold lead, and there's a lot of towers the rating to take back, so they're definitely not out of the woods yet on the Dire. I think things still look uh, pretty okay for Fnatic. They, they certainly want to get a couple things, though. I would imagine they would love to get uh, Roche for themselves, then try and get some aggressive vision. 
They really need uh, Ohio to uh, to grab some quick kills here with this uh, Nick Sass. And then maybe in the mid lane here. This could be huge. If Nana jump, then he could be a good target. It looks right for him. Nana's going to get Dream Quilt. He's going to be caught. And then the Impale will come through and he'll Now they just got to get out. And he's staying a little long. He's trying to man fight against uh, Ice Ice Ice. It's not working. I guess he was holding out for the TP from. Uh, Sure, I yeah, it was Ohio. But yeah, it was. Now he's gonna get them back. Kinetic field. Here's the chance for us to bounce through. A good impale to follow up. Uh, ice, ice, ice is. Uh, he's pretty. He is killable, but he will kill Envy first and foremost. Spike here if this does come out. Now the bear is gonna come in. There's the savage roar. The poisonable along with the static storm. Static Excalibur storm. is in some trouble again. He's been caught numerous times like that. It works out yet again. Coming back in is Ohio, looking for a fight here. DJ again. The TP success. Successful this time, Pop is going to get Kung's back, and he will have to die for it. The Gale will go, the Ignite will follow up. He'll go use his spaceship for now, but I don't see him surviving for much longer. Get dropped again, and now Mineski, they're starting to take over. The last couple of fights has gone their way short of that. That fight top lane, the last recent thing I can remember that went Fnatic's way, but now it's all Mineski here. Frankie makes in. Yeah, starting to look good. They got the quick pick on the Monkey King, but there was no escaping, and then they kind of felt like they could go back in. Obviously, that was not the case. It feels like Ohio needs so many items this game now with this disruptor doing so well. Then the veil first uh, didn't allow him to really like gank with the Nick stats or anything. Or at least they didn't find those kind of plays. Maybe if he was a bit more mobile, that could have happened. But with the veil, all he could do was just keep ratting and split pushing, and it feels like it's just delaying the inevitable. Envy is walking in, and he's getting glimpsed back. He just walked right into his death essentially, even with the borrowed time. He even give it to yeah. me, you for whatever reason, he'll be able to jump in and get the kill, but... Ugh. Fanatic. <laughs> yeah, that was a little awkward from the bird's eye view there. <laughs> just, just walks right and you walk into my heroes and dying, but... Yeah, you gotta get out on the map, gotta see what's up. He found him. Scouting mission complete. He's building a mask of madness, by the way. Excalibur is, I should say, on his bear. Uh, so that hmm. needs some more attack speed. That's fine. Get some more help, hopefully, with that item coming in. Yeah, we've been on the uh, the ranged lone druid bear, or uh, ranged lone druid, like uh, lately. It's been kind of fun. Seen a lot of people building it, but obviously with the radiance, we're not there this game. It's just lots of mask and mask first into maelstrom games again. Interesting to see the build pop up once more. We can't. We've come full circle. No. Nope. All right. Well, again, but like. He he is still top of the net worth for Excalibur, so he is still doing well. And they are losing ground in terms of the net worth department. It was once 3k not too long ago, now it's 6k. Roche was just taken. Oh, no, I thought it was taken. They were attempting to take it, I think, or somebody went into the pit real quick, but yeah, they decided I, not to go for just, it. like, chained through. But they didn't have anything set up for it. They only made sentries down or anything, so you don't want to mess up. Plus, they don't do it very quickly. They did just get that deso recently on Nana, so at least it's yeah. a possibility now. But yeah. Ohio's uh, kind of playing the tree lines. Should be another good game for uh, Tinker Rewards for the Dire because they just basically need delay, delay, delay. And look at all the sentries. You know, I've talked about how they need DJ to be scouting and stuff, but it's basically a suicide mission at this point. There's sentries in their jungle. There's sentries by their base. We've got sentries by their shrine. I mean, at some point you just invest in a gem, right? I don't know when that point is exactly. Oh, it's queued up already for Ninja Boogie. Uh, someday I'll get there. Like it's pretty far away. The structure's pretty poor. He's in that poor life right now. Well, somebody will get there. Ooh, that bear looks juicy. And there's the savage roar that might save it. Should be okay. Spear bear should be fine. I don't know. Maybe not. Like this is coming back in. Oh, resummoned. Or the recalled. Nice try. All right. And as we talked about, Roche looks like it'll be a target here for Mineski. Nana will jump into the pit. He's got the desolator. Mushi's nearby, and Plague Wars will start getting dropped. And the trade will have to be for Fnatic, the tier 1 tower bottom. And, uh, he does it pretty quickly, actually. Pops the rabbit, he's good to go. He's quick battle cry. And his tier 1 tower will get shredded. Good travel done for Ohio, though. So, the, uh, the veil has paid off in terms of his overall GPM. Uh, just from like ratting and stuff, it doesn't help him too much during those fights. He couldn't really engage in a lot of situations, died a couple times, but he does through waves fast. So he's, yeah, that's he really pretty does. much his life now. Uh, is he gonna get out of this one though? I'm not too sure. They have no scan on the dire, that might they help save vision. him. 
If they can get vision, ooh. Oh, the face shift. Monkey King. See Ohio moving on through. Good dream quell. Glimpse back comes in. And somehow they get the vision and the static storm. He's like, you've got to be kidding me. That is ridiculous. Bottom lane. Uh, he did everything right, I felt like, but he is going to get dropped. That vision is insane, though. From an SD, man. The Monkey King is there. They have the disruptor with the kinetic field. Dire Courier will fall. In the meantime, it was picked up on the back lines by DJ with a blink in. Swift little takedown. Nice right. spot by him. That's the kind of place they need. It's always patrolling this area, and it will be a maelstrom from Envy. So help him push the side lanes, get some farm for himself. Also having the blade mail and the Mjolnir inside the Veno ulti is going to essentially kill Mushi during these fights. Uh, Timber Saw, a lot of those same things will apply to him as well. Plenty of AoE damage that he can try and buff back at his opponents. Uh, they need some of these items to be able to control these lanes a little bit better. They're losing ground pretty quickly with a lone druid. They, they continue to put pressure on not just the lone druid, but the bear as well. And they're looking for him this time. They found him, Excalibur. I've seen this movie before. The Savage Roar will not save him. Ninja Boogie will secure the kill. Poison Nova, all that good stuff. The amount of damage is pretty ridiculous. And in the meantime, my exercise is sitting mid, just waiting. As Ninja Boogie will purchase up that gem of True Sight, and now things get even harder for DJ. There are already sentries everywhere yeah. now. And this it's was uh, like some decent vision even for the Radiant, but there was a smoke there, so nothing Excalibur can do. And now they won't even have that kind of vision once the gem's actually there. But Ohio is cutting in the mid lane. These were the big plays that Fnatic was making the other day. Just ratting it up when required. Big defense, but we're going to need a lot of them. I think they have that pipe still, right? Yeah. All right, Ice Ice is uh, doing Ice 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 things. He's just so sad he's not playing a Tidehunter with that taunt. He can just backstroke it up. That's really the worst part here. Envy is going to get glimpsed. Uh, well, not that far. He's in the jungle, but far enough that it's a little bit disconcerting for Fnatic at this point. Ice Ice, Ice, Ice continues to be the bodyguard. In the meantime, back lines, Ohio is trying to cut the wave. But uh, I think the tier 3 is still gone. Attack speed wise and damage, they pump out enough to be able to take the tier 3 rather easily. Ice 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 is in deep. That's using the term lightly. Jabs is going to get caught with an impale. They're going to work. They might bring him down. The NV right click along with the bear auto attack is more than enough. But in the meantime, they've already taken the racks. Mission accomplished. Good by Carapus, however. Tippersaw might get caught. Wukong's command will get canceled. Now it's Tippersaw going back in. He wants the bear. Boundless trick. They'll find it. 300 gold. No resummon available. Impale still coming through. Envy borrow time. He's got it ready. Tree dance coming in. Here comes Nana. They'll drop down that borrow time as the chakra comes through. And uh, they use a lot. They have to use a bear. And it's now down for another like 90 seconds or something. And they still lose the racks at the end of the day. Ooh, that's brutal. Zeus ult now. That bear is gone. They don't have a hero. He might as well just be dead. <laughs> boots. Uh, brown boots. A uh, iron branch. And it's two TP scrolls. It's got 25 armor, though. Thanks She's to Lich. very tanky. So there you go. Get very up in tanky. there. He needs to buy an orb of venom and a blightstone and just run at people. We've Be seen a how value many times hero. saved him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, fanatic, fanatic, fanatic. It's starting to look like it might be a good thing there's a lower bracket here because this game is reposed. tough. Yeah, they DJ. gotta get Oh, is he gonna find the gem? Oh, is that it? Oh, I thought I thought there was a gem coming. It's only a sentry. No, he's had it. Wait, where is the gem? It's on Jeb's. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Uh, I didn't see it on the disruptors. So I thought they'd moved it or something. Crayer was so close. Oh no, Ohio! Ooh. Not again. He wasn't he's inside the static out storm. Out of the static storm here. Face just will come. He will be able to blink into the tree. There's going to be Nana jumping forward, waiting for the John. Oh, Ohio baits it out, but the kinetic field is there nonetheless. I mean. How much nice better try. do you have to play to get away against this Monkey King? I swear. He's done it like twice, but that, that's just good stuff from both the Monkey King and Ninja Boogie as well. So good vision, nicely done. They get the kill. Man. Yeah. 10k lead at this point. Solar Crest, Lotus Orb, Bloodstone, Pipe, Timber Saw. Not a hero I'd want to be playing against right now. No, no thank you. Nice, Unkillable. 24 hour. Hello! Andy, remember that time you walked to my whole team and died? Watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna walk into your whole team and you guys will all die. <laughs> this magic trick I figured out. Yeah. Real exciting. And they're gonna use the balance trigger. They're gonna get this bear again. Alright, well, that thing's dead for 92 seconds. Does he not transfer? It's gone! 
It's just gone, dude. Uh-oh. Excalibur doesn't know what to do. Envy's gonna get close back. The Chain Frost will bounce. They'll pop the BKB on Nana. It actually is doing a fair bit of damage. Blue Syrup coming in. Ohio tried finding something. There's the buyback from the Abaddon. Ice 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 is still very tanky. we got 21 Bloodstone charges. Even if you kill him, he'll be back pretty damn quickly. He has a Solar Crest too. Envy doesn't do enough damage, even with the Maelstrom. Obviously, we talked about it. The bear has literally nothing now. Thumb's coming back, and there's the Static Storm. Envy's gonna die back here. Nana will get a Dominating Spree. The Effigy will fall. So will the Rax. Dream Cole comes in. Ohio dies at the back end. We don't even really see it. He dies for them quickly. Dead for 52. That is it. GG. And just like that, Mines dominates. I was going to say, that was an aggressive GG. Unintentional, says Jabs. Wrong chat. He's a good lad. Yeah. I, I, I expect nothing. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I'm getting tired.